What's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my last play of WWE 2K17. My career mode still deep in this Dean Ambrose feud, and the game thinks that I'm feuding with John Cena for whatever reasons. Let's try to handle our business here on SmackDown. Welcome to Wednesday. I have now watched both Raw and SmackDown. And for those wondering, uh, after all of my uh, massive amounts of vitamin C I've been taking, it seems like the vitamin C has finally got the hot tag and has begun to stomp a mud hole in this damn sickness and walk it dry. Obviously not 100%, but I'm definitely getting better. So uh, thanks for all your well wishes. Uh, believe me, I'll be very happy when I get rid of this damn sickness, get my voice back to normal, and uh, resume beardness as usual, but speaking of business, there is a bunch to discuss today. I got a giant fucking list here. It's ridiculous. Um, before I even get into Raw and SmackDown, Kane officially declaring his bid for mayor of Knox County. Uh, best of luck to the big, big red, red machine. Now, uh, people, people might wonder, is that the end of his in-ring career? And I will remind you that Rhino was running for election uh, last year. While he was a tag team champion. So, uh, not necessarily, but hey, we'll see how it all shakes out. Also, speaking of Dean Ambrose here, uh, apparently him and Renee got secretly married at some point and just didn't tell anybody. And I guess that's a, a thing now. So, congrats to them. I know there are certain, s there are certain sections of the internet that are going to be up in arms and just losing their damn minds about that. And to them, I say, grow up. Just deal with it. Uh, it's none of your damn business. Good for them. Good for them. Anyway, moving on here. With my double finisher. Just, wow. Squashing them good on SmackDown. That was negative eight. So we'll see where we go here from negative eight uh, after that. Very quick and decisive victory. Eat it, yeah. Eat it, yeah. So from negative 8 to positive 20, I don't know... Wait, what? Wait. Wait. What? Why? This is all very confusing. First of all, Cena is cutting a promo on the pay-per-view, which is not usually what happens with promos in this game. And second of all, I'm in a tag team match player with Dean Ambrose and Brody Tyson? What the hell's going on here? That's really confusing, but okay. Elsewhere, on Payback, we have Rollins, Cass, No Holds Barred. We have Cena cutting a promo for some reason. Big Show, Rusev. Kofi, Roman, Last Man Standing. The Usos, Bubba Ray, Sankara. Myself and Baron versus Ambrose and Brody Tyson. That's a terrible tag team partner. Uh, triple Threat, Orton, Balor, Owens for the U.S. title. And Cesaro, Brock Lesnar, Tables Match for that World Heavyweight title. Anyway, let's make short work here of Dean Ambrose and Brody Tyson while we, we discuss what happened on Raw and on SmackDown. Man, Finn Balor has suffered, has suffered supposedly a concussion from that ridiculous elbow shot by Hard Body Mahal on Monday Night Raw. And that is the absolute worst possible luck for Finn Balor. He just came back. He just had his first singles match. And he got a damn concussion from Hard Body Mahal, who uh, has said he's not juicing, but man, he definitely looks like he's juicing. Just saying. Like, hey, if it's if it's all natural, fine. But you, do you know who else said he was all natural uh, when he came back to UFC? That's right, Brock Lesnar. Guess what? He wasn't. So I'm not entirely buying the claims of him being all natural. Just saying. Uh, in any event... Best of luck to Finn Balor to hopefully it's not serious. Hopefully he's n not out for any kind of long period of time. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, we don't get that reports of, oh, Vince doesn't, you know, doesn't want to have any faith in him because he's injury prone. No, that was 100% on the hands and arm of Mr. Mahal and, uh, relax, gender. This is not New Japan. You're not Shibata. Quit it with the fucking Strong style. Seriously. Ridiculous. Brody Tyson is not who I want to be 
fighting in, in any real capacity. Uh, elsewhere on Raw, did TJ Perkins turn heel? And if so, I don't give a shit. I still don't like him. There's not a damn thing he can do to make me like him. There's nothing. I'm, so, I'm sorry. There are just some guys you're just... In, in your life, of watch wrestling. There are just going to be some guys you just don't like. And for me, he's, he's one of those guys. So, in any event, um, he'll turn or not. Uh, and finally for Raw, the one thing that I, I didn't get a chance to uh, discuss yesterday was the fact that Dana Brooke needs to look very closely at the career of Alex Riley if she thinks that she's not going to be a protege anymore. Because, let's face it, she's not that good right now and could definitely use some more seasoning in her entire whole thing. So, uh, being like, no, I'm going to be independent. I'm like, you probably shouldn't, Dana. You probably shouldn't. Just saying. Look at look at Alex Riley when he, uh, you know, decided to, no, I'm going to be independent from The Miz. That didn't really work out in his favor. Just saying. Anyway, let's see if we can't uh, hit our tag team finisher here with Big Baron. Now, as soon as I get out of this damn feud uh, with Dean Ambrose, then I can no longer uh, have to deal with uh, being slowed down, supposedly, by being in a tag team. So, we will see whether or not that becomes reality. Soon enough. Pin him. Oh, no, no, get up! Get up! I can't get up! Dean, no! I had that. God damn it. Yeah, there. Ref, count it. Referee. Oh, that's some... Alright, well, I don't want to get disqualified here like it happened yesterday, which was some horse shit. Do not want that. Baron Corbin, please. Please. Oh, come on. I did all the work for you, Baron. I did all the damn work for you, and now Brody Tyson... Is going to whoop your ass? That's wrong. It's wrong! DTA. Oh, great. Tagging and Dean. Don't trust anybody because you guys are terrible. I can't tag with anybody because they're all terrible. They all immediately, I, I tag them in, give them the ball, and they drop it every time. Anyway, um, so when you look at your... Uh, uh, SmackDown trades and your Raw trades for this superstar shakeup, it definitely looks like Raw got the better end of the deal. Just look at the fact that Raw gets three former world champions, and SmackDown gets one former universal champion. So it's like, yeah, that seems a little bit one-sided when Raw's getting Dean Ambrose, The Miz, and, um... Bray Wyatt, whereas SmackDown gets Kevin Owens. It's like, yeah, you know, they got Sami Zayn and Rusev, cool, but that's the caliber of talent uh, is not quite even when you look at how the brand split shook out. But uh, elsewhere, it's very interesting that Rusev is, well, first he's hurt, but um, he's going to be by himself, it looks like. Because Lana got her own little vignette. And uh, I could be wrong, but it looks like Lana, they're giving her the Emelina gimmick. Because that's the, 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 that all, like, what else would that possibly be? And you know they wanted to do it, and they couldn't quite get it to work with Emma, so they were going to just give it to somebody else. Uh, and you missed your dumb elbow, Dean Ambrose. Ha-ha! Guess what? Get hit with... Oh, no! Damn it. So, yeah. Uh, that's weird and also funny, but also, like, we're really gonna try this whole thing with having Lana wrestle again? That didn't really work that great last time, so... Baron, no! Baron, get in the ring! Baron, get... Alright, sure. Distract the ref. Yes! Break it up, Baron. Thank you. Didn't even need to use resiliency. Come back! Dino! That was not what I wanted to do, but okay. Sure. Drop kick. I missed my damn comeback, but whatever. Um, and then Connie, you know, I mean, they got they got Charlotte on SmackDown, and that's great because having 
her fight people who are fresh that she hasn't had you know major fuse with before is fantastic because it just you know, makes things more fresh um I kind of appreciate the little swerve there of oh you know here's a here's a second ge- ge- generation and her dad's a hall of famer and oh it's Tamina like that was pretty funny um not as funny as when they did it on Raw with Teddy Long instead of Kurt Angle, but still, you know, somewhat amusing bait and switch, uh, was pretty good. Um, and you know, I'm sure having the new day will definitely, uh, make things, you know, uh, perhaps more interesting in the tag division on SmackDown. But then it's like, and the rest, it's like, okay, we got Hard Body Mahal, fresh off of having given a concussion to Finn Balor, uh, you got the Shining Stars that nobody gives a shit about the Shining Stars. Seriously. Uh, Dirty Deeds. Uh, and then, uh, there was one more there. Um, pinfall. That's it. Dirty Pin. One. Two. Two count. Two count! Thank you, Banner Corbin. What the fuck? Um, and then Sin Cara. I was like, oh yeah, Sin Cara. Awesome. I don't really care about Sin Cara at this point. So, yeah, good times. So, certainly not going to have a, uh, reformation of the Lucha Dragons, because now Sin Cara's on, uh, referee was happening. Oh, Alexa Bliss got ejected. Damn. Damn. Why is Dean Ambrose all of a sudden just whipping my ass here? I don't appreciate the ass whipping here, Dean Ambrose. How about I hit you with the John Cena special here? One, two, three. That's hilarious. It's always where you least expect it. Out of nowhere, five star matchup. Oh, hey, Alexa's back. Because apparently she's part of this tag team. This is real, real weird. Yeah. Sure, okay. Well, I'm still stuck in this Dean Ambrose feud, and John Cena is so incensed about it, he is cutting a promo on every single show, and I can't ever interrupt because I won't ever actually go into the promo scene because this game is hilariously broken every damn day. So the story continues. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. Hopefully get my voice back more and more each day. And I'll see you next time, right here on this channel. And I'm out!